Okay, here's a video of the new Dun -dun. controller. Um, Real-time data program. RTD Explorer. We uh, we already have it inst installed, but uh, I'll add I'll provide the link at the end of the video. So we go to RTD Explorer right here. Give me a second. So on startup, it uh, it actually defaults to uh, COM one for now, and uh, there's still a few little bugs, and it's at version point one. But um, we got a few basic things. We got a rolling real time graph. We got a terminal window where you can execute terminal commands. We got um, the real time values and the maximum values for the different um, parameters coming out of the controller. And then we got our bootloader so we can bootload the controller as well as updates. So you can automatically download updates when. We provide them. So, I guess we'll start here. Um, what you can do is when you launch the updates or the program, it checks for updates, and you can see that this version is out of date by one build. Um, that's mostly just for testing purposes. But uh, you also got your uh, your patch notes here. You can see what was released in each release of the build. Like I said. It's first one, so there's only one release. Um, so, when there's a download, you can hit the download button, and uh, it's going to connect up to the server, download the new file, only takes a few seconds. Okay, so there's the new file, downloaded. Now, we can install it. So then it's going to download, install. Okay, so there's the new version, all updated. Um, so now if we plug the controller in, you can see we'll start getting data. We, uh, we got, uh, right here, it says that we, uh, that the controller started up. We had a little jitter in the power, so it showed it twice. It's actually a good example. These lines right here show that there was a bad data that came into the, into the program. So it threw those out, and then we're running as of this line. So right here we got our temperature reading of the controller, and also down in the lower right-hand corner we got our temperature conversion, Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then if we move the throttle, you can see we don't have power to go into the controller right now, just logic. You can see that the throttle, and then PWM is at 511 or 510 because there it, there's no motor output so but we also got other things we can turn raw throttle on or back off graph will rescale automatically current reference just ADC values uh, we can turn anything we want on or off so turn throttle off there you go whatever you want so and then like I say we got the values of what's currently being read and the maximum values of what has how high it's gone. So we can do other things. Execute it out of the command line down here. We do config. We can read our configuration. There we go. We can set values. KP 20. Now our KP is 20. KI 200. There we go. We got new values. Save just like the firmware. There we go. So, there are new loop settings now. We'll do everything like that. We can do our throttle. T dash max dash RC space and then enter a new value. Um, you can also type uh, CLS and it'll clear the screen. There you go. Start over. There you go. Nice and fresh. So we can go on to other things like bootloader. So you hit the bootloader menu. Um, in the next version, these things will be enabled, but right now, verify, program, and run, which you can't see, are the defaults. Okay, so we go to bootloader. <coughs> we sele select our bootloader, the one that Fran wrote. Open that. 
we go to firmware, select the firmware we want. I'm going to use no CRC, this is version 0 0.2. And then we hit load. So it says turn the power off, the power's off already. Click yes. We got to wait a second. And then we connect the power. And you can see now it's downloading the new firmware. So writing, now reading. And we're done. So now the control is running. So if we push the throttle, we got readings. So everything's all set. Um, that's about it. We'll uh, take it for a quick drive. Okay, so it's raining, so we can't go very far. So we're just gonna drive back and forth in the driveway in the garage. So you see, when we start to move forward, dark blue line is motor amps, and the light blue line is battery amps. So the pink line is our PMDM duty cycle, and the red line is our throttle. So you can see, the current, the motor current, dark blue, tracks throttle very well with these loop settings. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can show you. Yeah, like I said, you can turn off things you don't want. No PWM. No temperature. Whatever you want. Yeah, that's about it. One more thing I just thought of. You go to File, and Save Data to CSV. Pick a file. A location that you want, but C drive. Name it whatever you want. I'm just name it log data. Hit save. Well, yes, you want to create the file. And then you have to close it first. Well, once you uh, once you close the program, you can open that file. So I'm gonna go to my C drive and uh, find my log data file. And there it is. So you can import this right into Excel or whatever you want to graph it on your own. Uh, first column is time, and then after that, it's, it's the, same order, it? the same order that the uh, the graph controls are in. So yeah, that's about it. If you want, <coughs> you want to start, hit the save data button at the beginning of the program because it saves from the point that you hit that button to where you close the program. That will be changed eventually, but uh, it's just to get it out there in the in its early stages. So that's about it. Let us know what you think.